So I've just taken delivery of a uh, Hartwood Interceptor amp and the first thing I did of course was take the back off it to, to see see what was inside. Um, now the Hartwood Interceptor I think is like the, the Monoprice Stage Right 15 Watt Amp and the Harley Benton Tube 15 Amp all uh, sort of cheap amps coming out of I imagine the same factory in China. Um, this is more expensive than either of those two uh, and I'm going to be really honest here and say I bought it mostly for its looks because it looks damn fine. I'll show you the front in another image. Um, it looks damn fine uh, from the outside. Uh, there are reading the description against the other two um, there are some upgrades so for a start a actual detachable mains cable up here which uh, you don't get on the other two um, which is I think very useful uh, Celestian Vintage 30 speaker made in China but um, I think an upgrade from the 70s 80s of course it's all personal choice uh, but i like the sound of the vintage 30. Um, it, that's made of mdf medium density fiber board um, this is mostly wood there's a tiny tiny little bit of um, um, fiber board here uh, acting as a kind of screw panel but there's wood behind that uh, plywood uh, body um, reasonably thick plywood as you can see there so reasonably sturdy uh, these I feel they're not they don't have the cold feel of well maybe they do maybe maybe um, plasticized metal underneath there um, a rather small tank for the reverb but uh, metal uh, I think it makes the speaker look even more impressive though because the speaker looks huge as i'm looking at it here um j well jj uh jj valves tubes depending on what, what continent you're from here and here these are definitely jj branded these have no branding on the jj's on the other side uh of the power one so these preamp ones uh jj are promised but i'm not actually seeing JJ ink on the tube itself um, and I've pulled one out to have a look at it and indeed um, stuck the camera behind there so I'm reasonably pleased with my purchase uh, I will do some sounds later on uh, but the boy and I made some sounds before and I'll talk people through that but if you're considering one of these um, heartwoods, they're available from Gear for Music uh, versus a uh, Harley Benton if you're in Europe or Monoprice if you're in uh, America. Um, then that's what the ins this is how the inside compares. Um, some of the things I noticed. Um, look at this screw holes, uh, which. Um, I don't know, kind of slightly reassures me that you know, this, this is um, uh, made by people who make mistakes. Reassures, is that the right word? Um, I don't know whether that meant that there was a tank that went right across here and then they've replaced it with a smaller one or what. Um, what's going on here? There's another screw hole here for that bracket. Um, yeah, I don't know. It kind of reassures me that humans have been involved in this, which obviously they have. Um, but uh, hopefully it's not a sign of really crappy quality. It sounds... Uh, having said that uh, the plywood construction of the case is an upgrade from the Harley Benton ones, I thought I ought to admit that the back panel here is medium density fiberboard. And um, I thought I'd just give you a little look at the kind of workmanship, I don't know, um, that uh, is revealed there. 
slap a bit of glue on, screw the uh, put the uh, vinyl on. This vinyl is is a lovely colour. It's green. It's probably not as um, hard wearing as the Tolex uh, that comes on the front of the of the Harley Benton, but it looks great.